Historically, civil 3D projects have been created and managed on a local server, and this setup continues to work well for teams that are all working under one roof. If, however, a project team includes stakeholders working in another office, or another state, or even from home, the local server restriction makes it challenging for these workers to access project files and ensure everyone on the team is working from the current design. Today, using BIM 360, Civil 3D projects can be hosted in the cloud, allowing distributed teams to easily access and edit live models. In addition, cloud-based projects are managed virtually the same as traditional Civil 3D projects hosted on a local server, making it easy for users to acclimate to the new system. That being said, this is a brand new collaboration method for Civil 3D with rapidly unfolding workflows and functionality. The purpose of this playlist is to help you evaluate the solution in its current form and identify the best way to leverage this technology on your projects. Over the next several sessions, we'll explore the essential skills necessary to host a Civil 3D project in the cloud. This session represents part one of the overall series. In this session, we'll look at what you need to get started. Let me say up front that as I create these recordings, I'm assuming that you are already familiar with using Civil 3D. I'm also assuming you have access to and a working knowledge of BIM 360. That being said, if you're brand new to BIM 360, I've created a playlist to help you get up to speed with the basic usage of the platform. The recordings can be accessed using the URL on screen. The same hyperlink can be found in the description for this video. I'd encourage you to watch those recordings first and then come back and watch these. So, what do we need to get started? At a minimum, to host Civil 3D projects in the cloud, you'll need a seat of Civil 3D, a BIM 360 design subscription, and you'll need to install the desktop connector. Let's talk about these in more detail. When it comes to Civil 3D, you'll need version 2020.2 or above. 2020.2 is the version where the collaboration for Civil functionality was introduced. Since this technology is evolving rapidly, Autodesk always recommends using the latest version. In the interest of full disclosure, I'm creating these recordings using Civil 3D 2020.3. Next, you will need a BIM 360 design subscription for each stakeholder responsible for creating or referencing data shortcuts. The BIM 360 design subscription is the key component that allows Civil 3D collaboration in the cloud. For the most effective collaboration, you will also need some BIM 360 Docs licenses to accommodate stakeholders needing access to projects so that they can view or exchange files and create markups and issues. One more thing, if you have a BIM 360 design subscription and you are not able to create or reference data shortcuts, it could be that the entitlement has not yet been assigned to you. If you are experiencing this issue, I'm going to bring up a list of instructions that you can screenshot and share with the person in your office who manages your Autodesk subscriptions. Have them follow these steps to get BIM 360 design properly activated for your account. Finally, let's talk about the desktop connector. This is a free utility that can be downloaded and installed using the URL shown on screen. This URL is also included in the description for this video. Once installed, Desktop Connector represents the conduit that connects Civil 3D to BIM 360. For best results, Autodesk recommends using the latest version. At the time of this recording, I'm using the build shown on screen. Before we move on, let me mention that if you have any questions about anything we've touched on so far, I've placed a URL in the lower right corner of the screen that contains the full documentation on how to get everything installed and configured. This URL can also be found in the video description. So at this point, I have Civil 3D installed, I have a BIM 360 design subscription, and I've installed the desktop connector. Let's take a quick look at how the desktop connector interacts with BIM 360. The desktop connector icon can be found down here in the tool tray. If I hover over the icon, it will display the current build number. As new versions are released, you will be notified automatically of the updates. That being said, if you wanted to manually check for updates, you can simply right click on the icon, hover over help, and then select check for updates. And as you can see, I'm running the latest version. Next, I'm going to bring up my web browser and log into BIM 360. I will then select this project PR9733. And then I'll select the Project Files folder so we can see the directories inside. Over to the right, I'll bring up Windows Explorer. I apologize for my screen size. When you install Desktop Connector, you'll find that it adds a drive letter, for lack of a better word, for BIM 360. 
If I select this, I can then select my BIM360 account. Now, in my case, I've been invited to projects spanning many accounts, so I'm seeing more accounts here than you'll probably be seeing on your end. On your end, you may only see the one BIM360 account assigned to your company. I'm going to double click to select my account called JWB Engineering, and in here I can see all of the projects stored in this account. From here, I'll select the same PR9733 project, and if I open the Project Files folder, we'll see the same directory structure here that we see in BIM360. In fact, if I open a folder, we'll find the same files here that we'll find in BIM360. You see, the desktop connector is essentially a tool that synchronizes files and folders on my local machine with BIM360. As an example, I'm going to add a new folder on my local machine by right-clicking, and I'll choose New Folder, and I'll press Enter to accept the default name. Then, a couple seconds later, I will click in the web browser and press F5 to refresh the view, and we'll see the new folder here as well. This also works going the other direction. If I choose to delete a folder or a file from the web browser, a couple seconds later I can come back to the local machine and refresh the view and see the changes here. Please note that the time it takes to sync is directly proportional to the speed of your internet connection and the size of the files you're working with. It's this synchronization that allows Civil 3D to function in the cloud while maintaining the efficiency of working locally. We'll explore this concept further in future sessions. At this point, we are finished with our housekeeping and we're ready to create our first cloud-based Civil 3D project. And we'll do that in the next session. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.